So Jesus tells this story about seeds and soil. And it's really a story about his message, that's the seed, and human hearts, that's the soil. And his point is this, some hearts are ready to receive his transforming message and some hearts just aren't. Some hearts are good soil, some hearts are not. And when you hear this story, if you're like me, you think, well, I, I, I wanna have the good soil. I, I wanna have the heart that's ready to receive this life-changing message of Jesus. But, but think about it, what is it that makes for good soil? If you've ever planted a garden or put a flower in the ground, you know what it takes. It means ripping up the ground. It means putting good bacteria in it, stuff you wouldn't want to touch or smell otherwise, into the soil. That's what makes it ripe for the planting of a seed. What is Jesus' point here? What is it that makes for a heart that's ready to receive his transformative message? It's a heart that is humble. Oh, no, not just humble. It's a heart that's been broken, open. It's a heart that understands its own evil. It's a heart that, that grasps its own mortality. It's a heart that knows that it is weak and lost apart from the love and the intervention and the activity of Jesus. That is a heart that is good soil. So here's what I think you should do. Don't despise the difficult moments of life don't overlook the struggles and the moments of weariness, even the times of despair. See it through the lens of faith. What is God doing in the difficulty? Well, at the very least, what he's doing is tilling the soil of your heart, humbling you, breaking down any facade of your own awesomeness and ability so that you can see yourself rightly. You can know intimately, deeply of your need for him. He is making your heart ready over and over and over again to receive the message that Jesus is everything. You are loved. You are forgiven. You are his. You're a mess, but he grows beautiful things through his death and resurrection out of mess, out of dirt.